everybody so i wanted to start out my channel by talking about the new sephora starter witch kits they look really cool um i like the fact that there's a really cool tarot design because i'm used to the rider weight system i'm used to you know the traditional suits that don't that don't look unique in a tarot deck so i'm really excited to see that i think it's really cool they included some um stones in there and include some essential oils there's some makeup that's really cool my big concern with this whole thing and i say this very lightly because i don't mean to offend anybody and i'm not here to put anybody down or anything like that um i feel that there's going to be a very big spark in witchcraft and interest and the thing is if you don't know what witchcraft really is you shouldn't be getting involved with it um, and what I mean by that is I see a lot of people who are like, oh cool, witchcraft, like I can do whatever I want. No, that's that's not witchcraft, that's not how it works. I don't do a spell unless it's strictly for self-improvement, meaning increased focus, meaning bringing forth positivity, but it has to benefit everybody if I'm gonna do it or else I don't do spells. So that's my big concern with the whole Sephora releasing a tar uh, starter witch kit um, I think it's a little bit misleading because I really don't, I like, to, like I said, I like to get contents, but I really don't think that a, I really don't think Starter Witch Kit is really the correct, not the correct, but just, I think it's a little misleading because there's nothing in there that relates to Wicca or witchcraft. Um, and tarot is a form of divination and it's not witchcraft. So I think that there's a little bit of a mix up with the name. I think they probably should have revamped it a little bit. Maybe something like New Age Hipster Box or just something that, and of course my creativity right now is a little bit out the window because I just finished writing so I'm a little tired. Um, but I just feel that the name's a little misleading. Um, I really don't feel like Sephora should be putting out spells. Um, I just, I mean, Sephora does makeup and they have fabulous things, don't get me wrong, I love one of Sephora and I'll blow money in there all day on cruelty-free products, but I just don't feel that, especially with today's society and the way society already sees Wiccans and witches already, I really don't feel like this box, uh, this box might raise a little bit of um, interest in maybe not, not even a bad way, just not a very great way. So that's kind of my ramble for today. You guys can comment below, tell me what you think. If you like this channel, subscribe. Um, I am probably going to be getting a box and then and then giving a review and letting you guys know what you think because I really do like the, tar the tarot cards. That I'm excited for. But I really do feel like there's a lot of, con for, my, for my feelings at least too, the most is there's a lot of concern about what's going to happen when people who have never studied witchcraft, they've never studied anything about Wicca or paganism, when they get their hands in these boxes, what's going to happen? Because I will tell you, and it scares me, people who don't know what they're doing are usually the ones who either something goes wrong or this all doesn't work or they just, they don't know what they did. They might, they might have a karmic reaction from the spell that they might have caused and not realize you know, that they did something that might have been offensive or you know just something that you don't do when it comes to spell work so i really just feel that this i think i can't wait to see it but and you know i'm even nervous to review it but i am looking forward to seeing it but my reaction is pretty much i'm 50 50 on it um, i'm excited for it don't get me wrong but at the same time i am definitely concerned about what's going to happen because my whole other thing too is well, what's gonna happen when the press starts wanting to interview different witches, they start wanting to interview different pagans, and they start seeing that the thing about Wicca and pagans is we're all different. Um, I happen to be more closely devoted to Druidism, so you're gonna talk to someone who's a Druid, you're gonna talk to somebody else who might be into the dark arts, and that's their, you know, that's their thing, I'm not into that, but that, and that's the problem is everybody's a little bit different. So like I said, I think it's gonna cause a lot of interesting reactions. Um, I'm definitely a little wary because the last thing I want is some neighbor knocking on my door and being like, oh, so you're a witch because this is what you're into. And I don't personally call myself a witch because I don't, I mean, I just don't really like call myself a witch. But like I said, I really just think that this box 
I'm excited for it, I am, but like I said, uh, pretty concerned. So I'm done ranting. If you guys like this, leave a comment below. If you know, feel free to leave your opinion on what you guys think. If you guys like this box, let me know. If you guys don't like this box, also let me know below. You leave any comments you like. If you like this channel, you can subscribe. If you'd like to work with me, my email is in the description. Um, you can also check out my blog and I will talk to everybody later. I hope you guys have a wonderful week.